What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel for a new episode. I am Jeff Jenkins from Jeff Jenkins Photography. If you're just coming across me on YouTube, take a look at my work over on Instagram at Jeff Jenkins Photography. Now this episode is about something that I've wanted to do for quite a long time. Um, I've noticed a couple other photographers that have done episodes like this where you get a couple of photographers together with a single model and document how each photographer approaches that shoot and kind of get some good behind the scenes of uh, the way they, the way their vision comes out during the shoot. Um, we also get into a discussion talking about how they approach shoots, how messaging and transparency is um, during the conversations leading up to a shoot. And then uh, we also talk about some red flags um, to look out for. So if you're just getting started in photography or cosplay photography, or if you're a cosplayer just starting out looking for your first photographer, Pay close attention to the interview portion of this and uh, maybe you'll pick up some tips. Always happy to help. If you have any questions or uh, if you'd like to drop a comment about what you saw in this video, drop the comments down below and let me know. Um, besides that, let's go. So we're here with one of our photographers from this event. Go ahead and give us your name. Hi, I'm Nate. Uh, I go by Nate Takes. Uh, I do photography usually uh, with a focus on cosplay. Uh, you can find me at Nate Takes usually on Instagram. That is my main uh, platform. Where you can find me there. I also have a TikTok and a Twitter. Not on there much, but you can still reach out to me and I'll get back to you when I can on there. Awesome. So we're here at MegaCon Orlando 2023. Um, kind of whenever someone hits you up for a shoot, you know, how's that, how does that interaction go? How does the discussion go in the DMs or do you meet in uh, person? Or? Most of the time it, it happens through DMs on Instagram. Uh, they'll message me like, hey, I have this idea, I'm going to run it by you, what opportunity can we set up? Uh, and a lot of the times they'll be at a convention, which is usually the most convenient 
uh, for both them as, as a cosplayer, if that's the majority of, of my models, uh, or anywhere else if we're just doing fashion stuff, commercial stuff. Um, so, but usually it does start uh, with just a simple DM, or uh, more recently I've transferred to a new system where I'll get an email, and that, that uh, can also work. But it's usually through some sort of electronic messaging. Um, and we go from there, we'll start discussing like, hey, hey what's your, your idea? Is this uh, a type of service that I offer? Because I don't offer everything. Some, sometimes the idea is something I don't have equipment for and experience with. Uh, but usually just through that conversation, we'll be able to map out like, what do we want to do? Where can we do it? Dates, such a uh, uh, little, little logistical stuff there. We'll try to get that handled right off the bat. All right. And so then whenever you're working with someone new for the first time, you know, is there any kind of red flag that stand out to you where maybe you don't want to work with that person? Or? Uh, typically the biggest red flags for me are, are going to be uh, if they're set in a certain um, idea. Uh, and weirdly enough, this tends to happen usually with people that have a lot of experience, have, you know, a big portfolio. They kind of know exactly what they want. And sometimes uh, they'll just want to work with me just because of the brand. Um, and not exactly for my style, and they'll have something that's very much conflicting with how I work, the type of editing that I do, uh, and they'll try to like, I want this, but I want it in this other way, and, and it's something completely different. If I can try to make that work, I will, but there are times where like, no, that's way outside of the, the ballpark for, for what I normally do, and uh, the way that I, that I typically frame and, and do my editing. Uh, so that's usually the, the red flags that I'll get. Um, but I try to communicate that very effectively, like, hey, this might not be uh, a good opportunity for us to work together, but I'll try to recommend them on, like, hey, there's, here's another photographer that I think is more in line with what they want. Um, so I try to help out even even if I'm not going to be personally the one doing that shoot. Gotcha. All right, so then while we're here at MegaCon Orlando and there's a bunch of other photographers around, for someone that's kind of just starting out, any kind of tips you recommend or things to focus on learning? Uh, absolutely. Uh, learn the basics of your camera. Uh, learn your equipment really, really well, uh, and it's it's not that hard to do. You know, uh, on the camera, if you're going for manual, which is what I always recommend, is learn your three basic settings. Uh, what they do mechanically, what do they do to your photos? Uh, play around with that. Uh, when it comes to interacting with other people, know what it is that you want. Uh, are you here as a hobbyist photographer? Which is you know you want to shoot what you want and get the get the shots that you want. There's nothing wrong with that. Go for it, but understand that that's what you're doing. If you're here for business, you need to make the model happy. That is your focus. Regardless of what you want, regardless of yourself, uh, that's the business side of the house. So understand where you're you're trying to land that. Are you here for a hobby? Are you doing it for yourself and be happy doing that? Or if you're here uh, to try to make a business out of it and make your model happy, because that's what's important at the end of the day. So those are two things. Uh, when you're talking to, uh, in a sense of working with other people, know where you land. When it comes to yourself, understand your equipment so you're not there just fumbling for half an hour trying to get things to work uh, awesome. because something went wrong and you don't know what it is. Awesome. So that's pretty much it, yeah. Well, awesome. Thanks, Thanks Nate, for joining us. Uh, I appreciate you hanging out with us and uh, doing this shoot. And We'll uh, hope for an awesome weekend here at MegaCon and we'll check out your stuff. Awesome.
All right, guys, so we're here with some more photographers that joined us with this episode. So go ahead and give me your names and your social medias where we can find you. I'm Anthony. John. Uh, we're a dual team for Operation Shutter, but I also run the page 8-Bit Fusion Graphics, and he runs j Hearn Photography. So we're here at MegaCon Orlando. Um, whenever someone approaches you for a shoot, you know what kind of stuff do you go over in the DMs in a transparency wise? How do you coordinate your shoots? Um, I'm of the mindset of just winging it when I go. Um, usually, a lot of the times, the people who shoot with me, I'm just gonna wing it, <laughs> wing it. <laughs> All right, so we're here at MegaCon Orlando, 2023. Um, how do you approach your shoots and what kind of transparency or what kind of discussions go through with the DMs when you're coordinating for shoots? A lot of times uh, it's about 80% of my the people who book with me are previous people who book with me. So a lot of times I already know what they're, the kind of style they're going for. Um, oftentimes, every time in my booking, I always ask what they're going to be cosplaying, if they're cosplaying so that I kind of get an idea and I get references for those, um, for that character so that I kind of go into knowing what to shoot and how to shoot it. Um, but most of the time I'm just, um, when it, it's new people, I, I trust them to trust me that I know what I'm doing, pretty much. So is there anything that stands out red flag wise if, someone, if it is someone new that you're, you're working with? Red flag? Um, someone who constantly is asking to shoot, but then not, you know, going through with it. Mm -hmm. That's a huge red flag. Usually you get one chance after that first, you know, of not, not fulfilling the, the shoot before I decide, uh, maybe I'm not going to be shooting with you or I'll pass you along to someone else. That's gotcha. pretty much it. Gotcha. So then for, you know, while we're at this convention, there's going to be a bunch of new photographers that show up. Is there any tips you could give for new photographers that show up and you know what they should focus on learning or? Um, it generally depends. I'm usually an open book. I have a lot of photographers always ask me questions and I never decline those questions. I always go about my own technique um, on how to do um, lighting or anything like that. I mean, you, you can ask almost any photographer that's talked to me. I've actually told them what I do and whether they implement it or not, that's up to them. It's, it's me just basically telling them, this is my method, this is how I do it. If you wanna do it that way, you can. Um, these are shortcuts on how to do it. Um, I've been doing more editing than photography. I've been doing editing longer. So I know a lot of shortcuts when it comes to editing. I'm, as a photographer, still learning uh, as a photographer to shoot um, and different techniques and, and I'm always improving on my editing. Awesome. Yeah, I feel like it's always, uh, I mean, something, there's always something new to learn. There's always new software, there's new techniques um, when it comes to editing. And with photography, cam cameras are constantly changing, things yeah. to adjust. So, but awesome. I appreciate you all so much for coming out and shooting today. You're welcome. And it was such a great time. And I uh, can't, can't wait to see the results. And um, yeah. Right on. Thank you.
So we are here with our cosplayer for the shoot. Go ahead and say your name. Hi, I'm Sammy Ryan. Okay. And where can we find you online? I am at Sammy Ryan everywhere. I'm most active on Instagram. It's going to be S-A-M-I-R-Y-A-N-N-E. -N -E. Okay. And so um, are you fairly new to cosplay or have you been cosplaying for a while? I've been cosplaying for about 10 years. Um, I, yeah, this January was my 10th year anniversary. Oh, okay. Um, so when working with photographers, kind of what do you look for um, or anything that stands out that you try and focus on or do you um, ask previous clients for like a, a background on that photographer that, they, that you, other people have worked with or any kind of red flags that stand out? When I'm looking for new photographers, I like to ask for, ref ask for references. So because there's a lack of professionalism in the scene, I really appreciate the people who do go out of the way to make sure that they are holding high standards for themselves, holding high standards themselves for the people they interact with, and also how they conduct their photo shoots. So I really do appreciate when photographers have model release forms and then anti-harassment uh, contracts as well. Any kind of red flags that stand out or just a lack thereof of those items? Or? Uh, a big thing I look for is how the photographer is interacting with me on social media. Sometimes when photographers reach out to me to shoot, I will get some messages that are, some are going to be inappropriate, sometimes they're not all the way there, but they start going in a direction that I'm a little bit uncomfortable with. Gotcha. So I appreciate professionalism the whole way through. Gotcha. And any uh, tips for cosplayers just kind of starting out, looking for their first shoot or their first photographer they want to work with? My best advice to new cosplayers is I would just go to the convention, hang out, talk to people, make friends. I think the best way to vet people is also meeting them in person instead of just going off of semi-anonymous social media profiles. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining this shoot. I really appreciate your time. And thank you uh, I look so forward much. to seeing you inside at MegaCon Orlando. Mm -hmm. All right.